And here we go. It is co-main event time. It's three three-minute rounds of Muay Thai action right here in Beirut. Our official has been chosen, and it is Adrar taking on Boyn Zaraf. Big time experience with these two men. You're talking about right around 200 fights between the two of them. Of course, Boyne Zaraf with 126 fights. Absolutely insane the number of fights that he has on his record. That being said, Morgan Adra obviously uh, definitely has enough fights to compete with Boyne Zaraf. He is a three type champion. Three different organizations have him on top of the heap in his division. Adrar is in the with the very bright pink and blue trunks taking on in the white Anbar Boinzarov. Boinzarov coming out of Tiger Muay Thai and we know how talented they are. These two very much professionals. They've been here before, been under some bright lights. They're gonna take their time, do the filling out process before they really start unloading. Andre Kulabin and Bukau Banchamik coming up next in our main event of Phoenix FC number one. And going right to the legs, showing his power is Morgan Adrar. Both men fighting in an orthodox style. Adrar, very aggressive in the early going. It's three three minute rounds, this is Muay Thai rules. Already going for a clinch and a knee. Morgan Adrar staying very busy. Anvar Boinzarov has been known in past fights to take his time. He lays in wait. He has knockout power. But here comes Adrar, and Adrar not wasting any time, going for that flying knee, ends up on his back with a slip, but right back to it. Definitely the most fashion sense coming out here. Looking pretty schnaz here with the uh, neon pink. And the blue, he's got the nice tassels. He has got it going on here. Does Morgan Adrar making a fashion statement here at Phoenix FC, pulling no punches. And staying very busy, you can tell he has that reach advantage. You can just tell by their body style that he has the longer arms. Morgan Adrar not really giving Boinzer off any time to breathe. He, been staying much more busy and just tacking on points. When you go to that judge's scorecard, you want to stay busy. Big right hand there as he pushes Morgan Adrar directly back. You see the power of Boinzarov. They're going to take a look at the gloves and make sure everything's good with the gloves on Morgan Adrar. 67 kilos as they work out that technicality. Gonna get that arm tassel worked out. They're gonna take that off. So it's not a problem. And right back to action we go. And Adrar not wasting any time. Works in that nice left kick to the body. Does Adrar. We haven't seen a ton of offense by Boinzarov yet. Kind of waiting his turn. It is first round of three. That being said, you don't want to be behind, be behind a round going into that second round and have to be working uphill already. That's not going to be a good strategy for Boinzarov. Two champions battling, kind of a dream matchup here between Adrar and Boinzarov. Of course, Adrar doing so much work down there in Thailand and Adrar working all throughout Europe. And that is going to be the end of round number one. Round one is up. We still have two to go. That one went by so quick. A lot of action by both fighters, but by far the more busier fighter was Morgan Adrar. Showed some real technical striking in the early going. Let's take a look. Going up to the head and not afraid to stay busy. Morgan Adrar trying to set the tone for this fight. Phoenix FC here, the Nahad Nafal Stadium. We take a look at the corner of the Frenchman, Morgan Adrar. 
Breathing fine, great stamina by these guys. They are training nonstop, five, six days, sometimes seven days a week. In the case of Boinsarov, staying busy, you don't get a record with 126 pro fights without fighting a lot, as it is customary to really tack on those fights when you live down there in Thailand and you train in Thailand. Round number two underway, and here we go. Adrar and Boinsarov. See if we see a little bit more desperation, more urgency. Now the Uzbekistan fighter, Anvar Boinsarov. Now we see leading with some punches. Not just playing defense, Anvar. Real quick hands, quick jab. Moving forward, trudging forward. Big right hand by Adrar. Now trying to keep Boinsaroff at a distance so he can employ his own offense, trying to work his range. Spinning back elbow doesn't quite connect for Madrar. Showing us a little creativity here in our co-main event is Morgan Adrar. Outside leg kick by Boinsaroff. Nice left hand sneaks through right to the jaw of Adrar. And here he comes again. Great defensive counter punching by Anvar Boinsarov. And he goes to his backside. Just a trip and right back to his feet. And the action resumes. Love the poise by Adrar. But now it seems like the confidence is going up a bit by Boinsarov after he's landed a few significant strikes and staggered. The French fighter. As much as Adra throws that lead kick out there just to keep some distance, it's very hard for him to do something about the closing speed of Boinsaroff. Beautiful combination, couple punches, nice kick to the body, but a flying kick by Morgan Adra that doesn't quite land. But showing some more of that aggressiveness that we've seen in round number one. Oh, and that nice elbow over the top. That spike elbow over the top by Adrar. Beautiful front kick to the body. Switch kick, crane kick by Boinsroff. Doesn't quite find its mark. Outside leg kick by Boinsroff. Now instituting a little bit more offense. It's the Uzbeki fighter. Trading leg kicks, Adrar and Boinsaroff. Backed into a corner is Andrar, and now trying to work some combinations is Anvar Boinsaroff having a much better round here in the second stanza. Inside leg kick, Adrar. Another kick attempt, checked. Right down the middle. Goes Adrar again, staying very busy, throwing a lot of strikes out there, hoping to score some points by volume of strikes, and that is the end of round number two. And still the busier fighter is Adrar, but more significant strikes possibly going to Boinsaroff in round number two. Going to be a close one to judge. As we go into the third and final round of this one, two talented Muay Thai practitioners. Two exciting Muay Thai fighters going at it here in our co-main event. The beautiful Phoenix girls, all part of the production. And of course, folks, it's all going to come down after this round. We'll get in to our main event. Sombat Bukau Banchamik from Thailand taking on Andre the Poet Kulabin from Belarus. That is going to be for the strap for the Phoenix FC Championship. And here we go. Third and final round in our co-main event. Let's see if we see some fireworks here. As we wait for the bell, and here we go. They even make the bell ringers lovely here in Lebanon. Beautiful kick to the body. Boinsaroff answers, and that just ignited Morgan Adrar, showing why he is a three-organization champion. 
quick hands by the French fighter Boinsroff moving forward. Now Boinsroff trying to show a little bit more life, knowing that he may have to take this round in convincing fashion. He may need a knockdown just to even the score. Round two is close. Not clear cut for either fighter. Here comes Adrar. Overhand right. Are we going to see a flurry here in the third and final round? Outside leg kick for Adrar. Nice combination for Boinsaroff. Now they're really starting to fire up. Beautiful kick to the body. Boy, Boinsaroff. Another kick to the body. Lighten up the ribs of Morgan Adrar. Right around the ribs, that midsection is getting red for Morgan Adrar as the shots are starting to pile up from Anvar Boinsaroff. WMF champion is Boinsaroff. And a three organization champion is Morgan Adrar. Championship bout coming up next in our main event. And here we go once again. Boins are off. Throwing some strikes, trying to even the score. A big flying kick right to the chest. And they go down MMA style. With Adrar on top. They toppled on top of each other. And right back standing. Not a whole lot of time left. Who's going to make the big statement in the eyes of the judges? Or will we see a nasty knockout from these two? Both great defensive fighters, keeping their hands up at all times. Points are off, throws a big head kick that just misses. Nice combination to the body and another kick to the body as well. Did not quite land, now they're tied up. Where do we go from here? All locked up. Our points are off and Adrar. Not much time left, a big Superman punch from Adrar. Nearly snuck through. Boindroff caught the kick, charges forward. Not a whole lot of action yet. Setting up the jabs. Beautiful kick to the body. That was by Morgan Adrar. Boindroff answers. Back and forth round here, right down the middle, and that's it. Third and final round is up. Both men. Really picked up the action in round number three, but I think it was the volume of strikes. And it was the aggression of Morgan Audra that may have bought him a victory here in Lebanon. We'll have to see when we go to the judges' scorecards here from Beirut, Lebanon. And Anwar Boinzarov, nothing to be ashamed of, a very, a very good fight for him, very defensive fight. But did he do enough on offense to sway the judges for at least two rounds, it's going to be very close. It was an electric matchup. Two talented Muay Thai fighters going against each other, like I said. Around 200 fights when you count both of their experience. It's pretty insane. And Boinsaroff, can he pick up win 105 with the victory, or is it going to be Adrar? We now await our official decision from Grant Waterman. And folks, don't go anyway. Main event coming up next from Phoenix Fighting Championships. Referee talking to both fighters, congratulating them on their efforts. Who did enough, though, to take home the victory? That's what we're all wondering here. Grant Waterman has our decision. Let's go to him. Fantastic rounds of a Muay action. We go to the judges' scorecards, and we have a unanimous decision in favor of your winner from France. Morgan Adrar. As expected, the French fighter Morgan Adrar takes home a win, a big win in front of the fans here in Lebanon. And how about that, celebrating with his team. An incredible victory, showing us what he's made of, why he is a champion in three different organizations, one of the biggest stars on the map. And speaking of the big stars, we have our main event coming up next. Don't go anywhere. More Phoenix Fighting Championships from Beirut coming up.